shit ever since I was like three years old. Anything that was blind, I would draw on it. Pretty much draw whatever I could see. Eventually, probably wasn't until I was like 10 or so, and you know, started getting really creative on my own. My, uh, my mom is really, really, really supportive, actually. She shit bought me my first set of ink and everything. Seventeen, when I made a little homemade, you know, tattoo machine out of a tape player. Take a little motor out, keep your pen, bend it up, put your guitar string, sharpen it. Make it uh, little shitty ass tattoo machines all the time. Just whip it up in like five minutes and just do something stupid on each other. actually had real tattooing from someone. I don't know where I got it from. I do not remember. A buddy of mine through a buddy of mine and you know just use that shit on each other. Fuck it. So every year for my birthday I would go get tattooed. So when I turned 18 I was going to go get a tattoo for my birthday because it's kind of become a ritual at this point. Of course, I'm here at only two shops at the time. Walked in and ended up walking out with a job. I ended up going in the Army in my early, early 20s. And then, shit, I ended up tattooing all my drill sergeants and basic training. Uh, the Red Room's actually great, actually. I was only supposed to work there part-time. Uh, Rob bought the place from the previous owner, Dave, his apprentice working for him at the time. He called me up to see if I could come help him because I had just moved back from Chicago. So, uh, first day I went in there, he already had me loaded up with some walk-ins. Uh, I ended up loving the way he was running the place. I mean, 100% completely drama-free. Yeah, it was great. So I ended up, you know, I was like, hey, man, I'll, I'm going to stay on full-time. He's like, great. You know, I got you booked up for the next three months, pretty much. <laughs> well, whether you get uh, a little, you know, 10-minute tattoo or a one-hour tattoo, five hours, all that adrenaline and everything that's building up. There's two things I can guarantee. You will be extremely hungry and freaking sleep the best night of sleep you will have in a long time. Tattoos really just wear it out of you. Very therapeutic for one. Uh, and essentially it's actually, like, uh, it's actually a lot like getting uh, acupuncture done. Lord knows you're hitting enough nerves. So. Uh, I'd say probably say my, my specialties usually lie more in like realistic stuff. Always preferred more of the realism, being able to you know just look at something and draw it. 